Hello everyone and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today I will be showing you how we make our thunderstorm soap. This soap started out as an accident for us. We were planning to make a different scented soap with one of the two fragrances in this and didn't have enough so we blended in a little bit of something extra it smelled amazing sold out really quickly and then we had four or five customers reach out directly to us to make it again and it has been um, on our rotation ever since then this is the third time i think we're making this you'll see that we are doing what we always do which is blending in our lye water our sodium lactate and our plant-based oils we will just use our stick blender to get this to a light trace. And then we will pour in our signature blend of fragrance oils with a little bit of kale and clay. Now, since we've made this a couple times, I know that this performs pretty well in terms of not causing the batter to accelerate too quickly or rice or anything like that. So I can take a little bit of time on this. The one thing that we're changing for this year is the design. So the first year, the first time we made it, it was just a solid kind of like stormy gray storm cloud color. This year we are doing something a little bit different. So the base is going to be a dark gray storm cloud, storm cloud gray color. And then we will be doing two different blues. And you'll see here in a minute, we're going to be using squeeze bottles to put that soap batter into our slab mold. The one thing to note with the, uh, one of these fragrance oils is that it does kind of discolor to an ugly color. It turns the blues into like greenish tinged colors only when the soap batter is uncured basically so you'll see here while we're making this it's not the most attractive looking soap that um, we have ever made but when we get to the end and I show you the finished product the transformation is pretty pretty spectacular so we've blended all of those colors into the soap bases it's hard to tell the difference between these two um, bluish gray soap batters that I'm putting in the squeeze bottles but you can see a difference once the soap is finally dried. We'll scrape out these containers because we want to get as much out as we possibly can. These are soap only squeeze containers. We did get them from a restaurant supply store, but we don't use these for anything else. They stay in the soap making section. We actually saw the technique I'm going to do here from a soap maker on Instagram named Ashley Marie. She is out in Utah and we really liked this design and kind of have adapted it to be um, a little more our our vibe the rainbow crafts vibe so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm putting the nozzle of that squeeze bottle into the soap batter just a little bit and then I'm squeezing it and you can't really see that a lot is happening right now but when we cut into this it's kind of like we're doing mini drop swirls and getting a raindrop kind of effect. It's a really fun technique. The only kind of downside is the squeeze bottles are a real pain to clean up, but thankfully it's just soap, so it does scrub out. You just kind of have to let it set up a little bit before you do that. So we have squeezed all of the soap batter into the slab mold, and I have now gotten out the air bubbles for the top we're doing something different as well I had some extra soap batter and I am just doing a ton of dots so we're gonna step this up to like eight times speed to save you the um, effort of watching like six minutes of me doing soap dots they do look the same color in this video but when we show you the finished product they do look different I'm just doing different sizes different colors I want to basically cover as much up as possible and it's a really fun effect that we definitely will be adopting for other soaps in the near future and then once I am done dotting this we are going to use some really cool mica 
that is a blue shift mica. So it looks kind of white in the container and then when light is applied to it, just normal overhead light, it actually has a blue metallic tinge. And when I show you the finished product here um, in a, a minute or so, you'll see that really cool end product. So we're gonna spray this with some rubbing alcohol. We will tuck it away for 24 hours and then it is time to unmold. So you can see that really cool blue shift. It kind of looks like neon lights and really it's a great, great um, product. We will be doing what we always do, which is breaking down our slab into three separate loaves with our trusty slab splitter there. I definitely was a little bit nervous while I was doing this because while we have done this technique once before on a much smaller scale, lots can happen where it's gonna, could potentially look ugly. Maybe the soap batter wasn't the correct consistency. Um, the discoloration worked against you. Lots of things can happen, but you can see here that this is exactly what I was going for. I wanted it to look like raindrops, different colors, really pretty, a really, really great design that, like I said, we'll definitely have to adopt um, for other soap scents. We have been chugging away at getting product made for the market season. Uh, the Vancouver Farmer's Market, which is the one we will be attending this year, starts March 18th, so in a couple weeks, and we are just very excited to get back out on the market circuit and get our products out into everyone's hands. We still will be having our online store. We also have a subscription model, which is great if you want to get a mystery bar of soap every month from us from our current collection. Definitely check out our website for that. We have a couple different tiers. It's a really fun way to get our soap into your hands and into your home. So again, you can see that really cool design and that really cool blue shift on the top. And here is that finished product, our Thunderstorm Soap. This will be for sale on our website and at any in-person events April 1st. So definitely check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see what Rainbow Crafts comes up with next. Thanks for watching. Bye.